Hi, I'm Dr. Kanika Tomalin, Deputy Mayor of this delicious city of St. Petersburg, and welcome to another episode of Healthy St. Pete Test Kitchen. Today we have a great episode. I'm in the kitchen with two friends, Tony and Maria, who are contributing chefs to the Museum of Fine Arts new cookbook, Food Plus Art. It's a great gift idea for the holidays. On today's menu, Orakete with Broccoli Rob and a cocktail, a Peruvian drink with a Florida twist. Key Lime Pisco Sour. Let's get into the kitchen. All right, welcome to our Healthy St. Pete Test Kitchen. I'm so excited to have you both here today. It's really a celebration of all things St. Pete. Thank we're, you for having us. Thank you. Us. Thank you for having us. Of course. So we're bringing together a few things that are very signature to our awesome city. A celebration of the arts, wonderful culinary uh, preparation, and fantastic cocktails to make way for a perfect party. I think that this is a St. Pete show. What do you guys think? Oh, of course. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and all of it, of course, with a focus on health. So let's get it started. Okay. Well, I'm Maria. I'm from Italy, um, Puglia, actually. And this is one of our favorite dishes. It originated in Puglia. It's called Orecchiette con Cime di Rape, or as it's known in this country in the dialect, uh, Orecchiette with Broccoli Rab. Um, it's very simple, it's very nutritious, it's very inexpensive. Okay. It's super healthy uh, because there are, no, um, there, there are no fats other than the olive oil, which we know is a superior uh, type of fat to have. Um, and uh, it's, it's a staple in the uh, southern Italian cooking. It, it can be a one dish meal. So I put the water down, I put the pasta in the water, uh, boiling water. Now it's very important to always have the water boiling on high in a happy boil because uh, if you have a low temperature in the water when you have your pasta in, it changes the texture of the pasta. Okay. And it becomes gooey instead of chewy and that's a no-no for an Italian. Absolutely no, no. Pasta. Maria, did you put salt in the water? I did not. So <laughs> here it is. It always, it's important to have the salt at the very beginning stages of the cooking because other, otherwise the pasta won't absorb the flavor. It never adds salt at the end. Thank you for reminding me. So you're taking good <laughs> care of the pasta. And Tony, you know that because you have lots of cooking in your background, right? You're a food writer. I, I am, and I love Italian cooking. And uh, you've written cookbooks as well as many other things in your your portfolio and these recipes actually come from a cookbook, right? It's uh, the Museum of Fine Arts cookbook and uh, so we have a hundred different chefs and cooks and maybe 120 recipes and um, each one is somebody in our community in St. Petersburg and wow. in Tampa Bay, so it's a regional cookbook. So we've been fortunate on Healthy St. Pete Test Kitchen to have a lot of professional chefs from around the area, but I am just delighted that today we are showcasing the fact that you can cook with the expertise of a chef even if it's not your primary occupation. Uh -huh. Yes. And so Maria, so you're an artist. I'm an artist. Yes. I'm a full-time studio artist. I'm a sculptor. And I work with all kinds of media depending on the idea or the concept that I'm trying to communicate or express. Uh, but one of my art forms is to recover these forms Take a look that at this come thing. from nature. Nature gives us these. They're the reproductive vessels of the palm trees. And once their function is performed, they get discarded and that's not good. So I like to harvest them or collect them and I paint them, shape them and there are many steps involved but um, the final result is a food safe finish so you can serve food out of them. So pasta so boiling and we, we have need, not ignored it. No, I have not. <laughs> I stayed close even though I was talking about something else and it is about time. You can tell the um, how past, the pasta is doing by the color. Okay. Uh, it would become whiter when it's overcooked, which is a no-no. It becomes really white. So that's mm. how you can tell. So it's ready for us to put the rapini in. 
So now we raise the temperature because once you put the rapini in, uh, it stops boiling. So you watch it and when it starts boiling again, then you can lower it a tiny bit. So we're gonna let that boil and we're yeah. gonna look over this way to yeah. what Tony has for yeah. us. Tony, you're going to teach us how to make a wonderful cocktail that also appears in the cookbook, is that right? I am, we have a wonderful uh, hors d'oeuvres chapter at the very beginning of the book. Oh, and great. we thought it would be fun to have some cocktails to go with those, yes. those delicious things. For our porch so parties. So is this a pre-dinner? So it's a, more of a pre-dinner cocktail? It's a pre-dinner cocktail, okay. cocktail okay. for sure. Pre-dinner cocktail. And this is, um, again, an international kind of dish. This is a South American cocktail mm. called a Pisco Sour. And I see there are key limes. There are key limes, so that gives it a Florida twist. Yes, of course. very nice. Yeah, it's gotta get lovely. that Florida twist. In key there. limes are uh, they're still tart, but mm -hmm. they're they have um, a little more sweetness, I think, than mm -hmm. than a regular lime. This is also called a Persian lime. Okay. Yes. Um, so it just depends on what's available. Either one will work. Um, so, so I have. So what do we do? Uh huh. I'm gonna start with the pisco. This has a nifty strainer, and so then we're gonna pour it into the glass. And I tell you, it smells so delicious. <laughs> so it really I'm does. I wanna smell it too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yum, fresh. Isn't that one of the best yeah. things of cooking? I know, it's the, way the all smells of your senses and are yeah, everything. Stimulated. So I should say, if you don't have one of these, yes. you just use a mason jar. Yeah. We and all have a mason jar, right? We all have oh, yeah. mason jars. Yeah and then some kind of little strainer to to strain it. I actually brought the wrong lid for this, so okay. I'm using my wine here. Ingenuity <laughs> in the kitchen, I like it. Okay, let's take it Oh, off. I see the foam. Okay. Oh, oh nice. nice. Pretty. Are you gonna pour it? No, we have to add the ice here. Okay. So while Tony gets that drink all ready for us <laughs> to pour, tell me now what you're doing, this final step. Yeah, this is the uh, most important ingredient here, I think. It's the olive oil and the garlic. Mm. And you uh, cut three mm. cloves of garlic into the um, olive oil. I, I, I you do haven't it. used a cutting board this no, whole time. No, this is the way we do it in Puglia. Okay. This is the way my mom always cooked. I've never used a cutting board. I just cut into my hand and uh, put it into the oil. When it gets golden, the garlic starts to turn a golden color. You don't want to overcook it. You put in a few anchovies. Final touch is some um, grated Romano cheese. Mm. You could mix Romano and Parmigiano, but for this recipe, I prefer just Romano. It looks delicious, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, and you make this yourself too as well, I do, right? I love that recipe. Well, it looks delicious. I really cannot it. wait to taste it and make this. Yeah, it's so For easy, my family right? at home, my it's husband's so going easy. to be so impressed. <laughs> <laughs> You've earned me some big points today, oh, Maria. Oh, good, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. All right, should we plate it up and, and give it a taste yeah. and pour our cocktail and, and give oh, that a absolutely. taste? absolutely. I'm going to taste this. Yes. <laughs> Don't yes. waste any time. <laughs> to your health. Can you get? Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. 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 To your health. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. <laughs> so if someone wants to get the cookbook, they can go to the Museum of Fine Arts. They can, and we're in a lot of other venues too, because as I said, it's a, a community cookbook. Uh, so it's at the Dali, it's at Locale, it's at the Tampa Museum of Art, and um, wow. other places, Oxford Exchange. It makes places. a perfect Wonderful. holiday gift. Yeah. Features uh, some familiar names and faces that people might be excited to see from around the community, and art, <laughs> lots of artists. So I think it's a wonderful thing. Thank you so much for your leadership and putting that together and for your participation. Thank you. And working Thank in you. it. Thank you. And for teaching us such a lovely uh, meal today. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ladies, a cocktail is a little hard to share, but we have <laughs> to all taste this. It looks and smells Delicious. Dig in. Okay, I'm going here in. we go. I have everything on my fork, I think. Anchovy, yeah, I want a little broccoli. bit of... Hold on. Mmm. 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 Oh, so good. <laughs>